And I believe that we are live on Twitch. Yep, I can see that we are. Well, that's just fantastic. We're playing Mini Motorways. Put a video about this over on my main channel. I've been playing it a bit while I was on holiday. I say a bit, I've done all the levels. Uh, what I think we'll do is go play the level I have the lowest score on and see if we can do better. Oh, Mexico City. I was about to go do one of the other ones. We could actually, hmm, that one's got rocks in it. Yeah, let's go with the lowest, like I just said. This one's got rocks. The ones with the rocks in really kind of uh, cram you in quickly. We're also going to mess around with some advanced strats here. Um, there was a level that I played when I was on holiday. It was a daily challenge, and it allowed me to break the game, which was really fun and interesting, and it's actually the reason I was making the video on my main channel. I had to cut out all the stuff about breaking the game because... The daily challenges, they change every day, and I've not had a similar one since. However, we're going to use some of the things that I learned from that over here. Um, you can kind of manipulate where stuff will appear, essentially, is the idea. So, I kind of want to stop any other of these buildings appearing nearby. Therefore, am I... Oh, right, that's, that's rocky terrain, so... We should be kind of covered if we do that. We don't want it in this space down here, is what I've decided. That being said, it should... And no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to rethink my thoughts here. We should try and stop them spawning too close to this building. Like, this is the thing that we want to keep it away from. You really want to have buildings spaced out. Whenever I have problems, it's when all of these are too close together. So, uh, we'll do something like that, and that should hopefully... Can I keep them directly away from this area? Up and glut, thank you for 14 months. I am feeling better. I have had a fantastic holiday. We'll talk about all that stuff when we're doing some hermit craft. We've got James Drew, 27 here for a stack of months. 64 in total. Now I'm pressing this button to sound like Evil X. But do I sound like regular Evil X? Because I'm pretty sure something is broken with GoXLR. It is not making the voice deep enough as it normally did. Uh, MB TV, thank you for three months. Mexico City, that's in your country. Awesome. Very cool. Glad to have you with us. Uh, Adam Fire, UK, thank you for two months. It does not sound like him, no. Yeah, so I'm not going mad. Something changed. Something messed up. Uh, I always play this one on fast mode. I do wish maybe there was like a, a three and a four speed and perhaps you could have a hotkey to flick through them. That would be kind of cool. Right, look at that. Now, because we put these here... We have successfully kind of shielded this, which is what I needed to do. Now, I also need to then connect it up, which we have done. We now need to shield this one, so we shall do so. I mean, we can probably guess it's not going to put it directly next door. So, I think if we do that, our work is pretty much done. Uh, that being said... Down here, yeah, there we go. Right, and then we let them go. Uh, Twitchy Twitch07, thank you for the Prime. Summon Sus, thank you for 13 months. Ah, yes, yeah, I was on break, that's why I hadn't streamed in a while. Now, apparently, apparently you don't have to hook up all of your homes. And also, has the grid expanded? It has over in this direction, that's fine. So, we might be able to supply the demand to this building from one house, even though there's additional cars waiting to go. Uh, I'm going to do that experiment early on. Uh, Gabrielle, lightning poor, thank you for gifting the subs. Goodness me. Five gifted subs, I appreciate it. Hash Brown, Jumpy1990, Tyson R33, Sorrel the Soul, and Corporal Cuddles. You've all been gifted subs, as always. Be sure to say uh, thanks in chat. Uh, someone in chat saying this is advanced strats. It is indeed. Yeah, it is indeed. Now, one another advanced strat is not to cross roads, right? But I think with this low level of traffic, it shouldn't be too bad. I really don't want another one emerging in there. That would be kind of... Oh, do you know what? We literally just learned, actually, that we can do that. Yeah, so we'll space them like that for now. And I guess our next shop is probably going to 
pop up somewhere over here. I don't want to suppress them entirely, by the way. But I kind of want to keep them at bay. So now we got two of them off the grid, essentially. And, you know, it seems to actually work that you don't need to get those houses out there. I always thought that they assigned themselves to a building. Right, although a little pressure is building up on this side, perhaps. Now, we need our roads. Traffic lights, all my experiments with them have indicated that they are just useless. So, uh, we'll take the tunnel. And I'm pretty sure the map just zoomed out a little bit there. So, now that we've got some... Let's get some suppression over in this area. Maybe go one extra up there. We'll let... I think we'll let something appear. I mean, I haven't done this sort of stuff enough to know how I want the game to play out. Maybe if you knew what way it was going to spring the buildings, in what order, then you could mess about with this uh, suppression stuff more. But, you know, it might add over here one that we don't really want. I don't know. Um, it's also just occurred to me that it might now make more sense to send that one here... And do away with this. Now, we'll leave a little bit of suppression here and there. It's all kind of messy, but until we need the tiles, we won't worry about it too much. Yeah, another place I might actually want to suppress is just here. Just because this area is sort of for blue houses. If one sprung up right next to them. And that being said, I'm, I'm also going to now add a road there. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll have something up in the top corner if anything's going to spawn, I think. I'm all about that suppression now. There we go. That one uh, joined the road network. I guess might as well leave it on it. It's not going to do any harm, is it? Actually, the demand here is peaking a little bit, and so it is over here. And I can do that without really having to uh, mess with the traffic. We just didn't want to cross the neighbourhoods and... We don't have to do that. Okay, so plop one down over here. Let's pause because the grid is obviously expanding. And we may have suppressed it from being closer to its home. I don't know. Now when we remove these tiles, we can put some of them back later. Uh, so we'll drag you down like that. Uh, we'll keep this road as like in the middle as we can. And again, part of the goal here is just to kind of put the road where it will help stop other stuff. Oh, I've run out of road tiles. That's not good. Let's redo some of this suppression then. I guess we're going to let something go up there. Uh, I think that's kind of good. Let's um, maybe just redo a couple of these. There you go. Right, so uh, we've got Lockie Danook here for 15 months and Gushy's here for 33. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. I'm going to guess that... Oh, I would definitely take 40. Well, that's going to enable me to, like, ramp up the suppression again. Dang, that's cool. I mean, let's go... Let's go all in with the suppression stuff now. we just got a big dose of, uh... Of those roads. I can do it the lazy way to begin with, you know? Uh, what about up the top here? I could, I could kind of just suppress over here for a round. Like, pretty much everything will be suppressed now. Apart from houses. And the demand looks good. Uh, it's just, Demiser says, Does the blow rock road blocking mean it doesn't spawn a house on a 2x2 two two area? I don't know where it stops it. The reason I use diagonals is because it saves on road tiles a bit. Um, these things are 3 by 2 The houses are just a 1. And as I've seen, it doesn't suppress a house from popping up. Might as well do that. I'm noticing that the cars kind of stay in their drive. Right, now this thing just got some serious increased demand. We can probably ignore that house over there. But in order to satisfy this demand, I think it's going to want that. Let's uh, check the grid again. Got an extra row. Right, so it just expanded over here. And I'm like, you know, maybe I do want something to pop up at some point in time. But for now... I'm going to suppress it. <laughs> I think there's room... Oh, I was literally about to say, there's there's probably room for something right there. Oh, whoops. 
What's uh, what's different about playing it the way I'm playing it at the moment is that you feel less like you're actually designing road layouts and you're just cheesing it a bit. I actually kind of really like designing all the roads, so in today's stream I think we should also do one where we play it properly, or as it is probably intended to be played. Uh, Nitro Bean, thank you for six months. Yep, six months it is, half a year. Petrio is here with a prime, and Adesso is here with a donation saying Impulse has gone from nine, nine, 999,000 subs to 998 in a couple of hours today. Can we help him get to 1 million by the end of the day? Uh, Adiso says, I, I believe we can. We've got over a thousand peeps here right now. So if you are not subscribed to Impulse, a fellow hermit, a good friend of mine, you go to YouTube, you type Impulse SV, and you do this because I told you to, and you hit that subscribe button, okay? Do not disagree with me. Seriously, if you're not subscribed to Impulse, he makes great content. He's getting so close to a well-deserved one million. Um, yeah, head over to his channel and, and check it out and subscribe. You know, and, and if you're already subscribed, tell a friend. I'm sure we'll help him hit it today. I also see, saw he was streaming when I went live, so um, it could be that he would get to celebrate that milestone, you know, while he's live, which would be really cool. Right, now we've got another one because the map is continuously expanding and I kind of left a little bit of space there, didn't I? Let's drag out a road like this and do it the sort of expensive. We've got four road tiles left. That is fine. And we are satisfying all the demands. Cool. We only have a score of 111. I wonder if we'd have more if I had not suppressed as much. Should have really, like, maybe kept a timer on how long we've been playing. Actually, having a timer for how long you've been playing on the screen would be pretty cool. Um, because... Obviously, we're doing experiments. You kind of like want to be able to go. All right, so that took me an hour. You know, when I play again, let's see what happens. Something's going to spawn up there soon, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, lucky for us, that works out pretty good. You know what? I love roundabouts, but I think I'll take row tiles. I really like doing this suppression thing. This is this is interesting. Yeah, let's get smart again. I think I'm going to keep deliberately... Let's try and be a little bit more aggressive, maybe, with our suppression. And then see what happens. Because we have effectively blocked stuff time and time again. I think I see... Yeah, there's like a spot there. Anyway, it's pretty terrible, I know. Well, uh, tweak and tune it a little bit here and there. As uh, the cars move around the city. Does he read chats as it's just in? No, I do not. Uh, it's one of the features here on the stream. If you put messages in my chat, I will not read them. Uh, we've got Thorgill96 here for 16 months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So yeah, obviously here there's like a easy way for us to... Hang on, did it just expand again? Oh, it's always expanding. Oh, and look at that. Cheeky over the side here. Should probably use some diagonals. I should still be doing this like the smart way because I'm just going to have to come back and redo these if I waste road tiles, right? And we should develop a bit of a system, I think. So they've all got like two, a space of two in between. That should, in theory, effectively suppress. So let's say we do that up to here. And then that'll be the next one in the future. Yeah, that, that I think will cover that spot. Do we get any more down the bottom? Not yet. Right, and how are we doing? We're doing really good, actually. We don't need to connect any of these other houses up. Two hammers, no need to type in caps in my chat. We talked about that just a minute ago. I love how strategy changed wildly since the YouTube video, says Shinny. I, I made that video as like an introduction. I was going to put this sort of stuff in the video as well. But the, the one that I, I really should have, because the one that I played had 400 tiles, right? And so I was waiting for another level like that to pop up. Because I literally, like I suppressed it by filling out the entire grid. And I could literally pick and choose 
where I wanted the houses to appear as well. It was super fascinating. You'd remove a little area and the house, uh, the shop would pop in there. You move a one tile and, you know, in goes that thing. I just noticed there's probably space. Oh, look, it's done it again. It's, it. I think it's trying to expand to compensate for me being cheeky. But it also just gave me some tiles, right? So, tough luck. Oh, by the way, I'm using an ergonomic mouse, okay? I've got two mouse on this computer now. And I've hooked it up so that I can switch between either of them. And I kind of go back and forth. Because when it's in one position, it ends up hurting the hand. And then you switch to another one. It's all about just changing the posture, really. Um, and this is the mouse that makes playing this game a little bit trickier. Just because you hold it sideways. But I like now that I can just switch between the two. It's been real good. Being able to do that. Yeah, it makes those diagonals a little trickier. Okay, that is some good suppression again. I like we've got a little coldy sack here. Another thing I really want to do with this game is be able to just plop the buildings down myself. Like, I'd love a sandbox mode where you could design the whole thing. It'd be so cool. Uh, it also looks like, as we zoom out, we're going to hit another bunch of rock here. Be interesting to see if there's like a maximum zoom out on this level. Super, super interesting. Right, it's still zooming out, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's, it's trying to get more stuff on, I think. It's like, nowhere to put anything. Keep zooming out. Okay, report this player to the devs. <laughs> what are they doing? This is not normal behavior. We've got 18 tiles left though, so uh, some stuff might need a little bit of a reconfig. But we are keeping up with all of the demand. No traffic jams, no issues anywhere. Because we're not playing properly today. Ed Network, thank you so much for 60 months and Hero268, thank you for 5. Appreciating the support. Exowatch 14. Oh, dang it, I was reading chat. I can blame someone for my problems here. I was reading chat. I was reading the message. God. Read chat, they say. Oh, you never read my messages. Now you know why. This is what happens. This is what happens when I pay attention to my chat. We lose. We lose in the game. Okay, did we get any more downwards? Right, at last we did. We're not really actually going to get anything there, are we? Okay then, so I guess what we'll do is now that we've got this extra bit, we'll, uh, hmm. we'll turn this into a road so that we can have two and two. Oh uh, yeah, we're running out of road tiles here. That's a problem. From our little games that we're playing. Hmm. Well, I don't think we need that bit. I don't think we need that bit yet. And I reckon... Take that little bit off. And now we've got that. And those will do two together. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much traffic. Bruh, X hates his chat, says Magarok. I mean, I'd say hate with a passion. Not just hate. You know? I really want to take the motorway. I'm, I'm like, I'm totally like, oh yeah, get the motorway. But no, we need the road tiles for this experiment. Like, I feel like it just zoomed out a little bit more. No, it's always zooming out just slowly. Hey, X, are you sitting or standing? I'm uh, sitting at the moment. Did a fair bit of standing today. Knees are doing all right. Might have pushed it a bit by going for another run today. I went for one yesterday and today. Gonna not do that again tomorrow then. Right, I think what we'll do is that. Get an extra house on it. Since this one seems to have uh, increased its demand a little bit. That one's just connected it to the road. So like, go on then if you want to. Oh, dang it. My suppression game is, is not as good as it could have been. Oh, look how far away that is. That's just... Oh, that's really hitting me. Okay. Uh, I feel like I'm going to have to go through other roads, which is like the thing you really don't want to do. 
it's which road do I want to go through? I was looking at this blue one because it already connected to it. I think... Hmm. I think we're going to go this way. Around the Wiggle Road. And then from there to here. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. From there to there. So that's the path, right? And then I guess if we flip that onto that road. Change the... Now what I don't want to do is have these ones actually driving down there, believe it or not. We want to keep them off of that road network. Which is connected in multiple places. Okay, and to save tiles, I'm going to uh, change that one to there. And put that one on the network. Although, in a way, I probably wouldn't really want them coming up this road. No, okay, so we'll do this. Like that. And the junctions are, like... All a little too close together, actually. Let's do it like that. Take you off of there. Oh, dang it. I'm doing all my suppression wrong. And now, I'm, oh, it's kicking me in the bum. Because now it's all the way over the other side of the city. Oh. Okay, well, you know, it was an experiment. And the lesson is, if you're going to do this, make sure you do it right. Because as the demand there goes up, like, there's a long journey. And now there's a long journey to get purple over here. Oh, and this means that roads are going to have to cross and traffic's going to be a nightmare. Okay. Hmm. Kind of need to now redesign several roads. For example, this one here will now be uh, better off going through that space because we need to clear the way for these purple houses. As we now have a lot of purple demand. So, I don't really want it to share this road. Did I get a roundabout? I did. Thank goodness we're going to install a roundabout. Because roundabouts, my friends, are the best. We're going to do a lot of redesign here, actually. Um, now that we know this road network's going to be kind of different. I think, is that what I want to do? Sort of. Sort of, mate. Uh, kind of want to go put the roundabout on that tile, I think. Uh huh. Cool. We'll find out now. That feels that feels feels wrong. That's the tile we're going to go for. That one. Still a little bit too close to this, actually. So, move those further away. Disconnect that. Right, so these ones are going to come in to that spot. Okay, they'll exit there. So, that's two roads. There's like five roads we're connecting up here through one roundabout. Oh, I can tell this is a bad idea already. There you go. So, now purple can get to that. Oh, oh, but then there was a purple up here, was there? Uh, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll change these plans out a little bit. If there's going to be purple up here, then let's disconnect that. Right, can I read some chat again? Because uh, Licky Sticky Icky, thank you for 22 months. Because last time I looked at chat and the map expanded. Just kill the suppression X, says Bushy Bandit. Well, that would that would you know destroy the point of the the little experiment that we're doing, right? Like. Oh, I tell you what. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. So up here, we definitely want plenty of these ones available. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, I don't want to kill the suppression now. The whole idea was to develop the whole layout and whatnot. Oh, gosh. Where I've moved the road, I've left a gap. Okay. So all of these houses want to get to these destinations. And they're going to do that going through a roundabout. The other traffic shares. At some point, I think maybe using a bypass road or something would be better. It's possible that I could redesign this so that the orange and red come this way around and all the purple ones go that way over to there. But then they need a way back down to here. It's, it's tricky. It's tricky. 
We need the tiles for the suppression. A motorway would also be good from that spot to this spot, I'm thinking. But the cars are coming. It's a long journey, though. And so far, the traffic's actually good. Oops. That's not quite what I'm trying to do. And I feel like the suppression is going to uh, bite us somewhere soon. Because we have led up on it a fair bit. I could actually fit into that space now that I think about it, so we'll drag that across by one. And I wonder if we've left it any other space where we've rearranged stuff like here. Definitely don't want something popping up there. Right, all demands are good. These three white buildings now are causing an issue, I can say that. Might just be able to add a little extra here. To help out with that. It did give us a few extra ones here that I never hooked up, right? Because we've got the purple road coming through. And there isn't really space to shimmy it around there because of this building. So these ones are going to end up going on the same road as the purple. Let's just add one for now. Since it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. It's this one here I'm eyeing up and thinking maybe we should get a mow away. Right, what did I just say? Get a motorway? It's so weird to hear your voice at one time speed. I know, you know, like... Uh, God, I go around outside and people say the same thing to me all the time. Because, you know, everyone's, everyone's listening on two times speed. Right, let's... Uh, let's do that, because that one's increasing demand. This one will always... Welcome a few extra cars heading over there. This is getting a little bit on the high side, so let's connect it up to that cul-de-sac. Not to this road, just because you want those ones to whiz whiz on by. Uh-huh, doing that. There we go. Oh, it just upgraded that, which is not what we want. Extra house for you then. And then you just put one there, which I don't want. We've got Nick Nasty here for 73 months. And NRNS92 is here for 16. Thank you so much for your support as always. Look at that. Right, didn't I pick out a motorway? I seem to remember doing that. So it's time to introduce the secret weapon, as it were. Right, okay. It can't go... Hmm. So that's as far as you're going to go that way. That's fine, I guess. Let's get everything pointing in that direction. Okay, that should have them whizzing across to that destination. It'll also alleviate some of the other roads here. I could now effectively... Oh, hello. Orange is struggling a little bit. Let's see what we can do to help. Should probably take a, a moment to pay attention to some stuff here. Let's put one extra on that road. Because this one's starting to struggle. Come on, we're getting all of these ones over here. I think I, I want another motorway. I, I, I reckon a motorway might be good, right? A few white houses aren't connected, says Bucky Blizz. That is intentional, though. The white the white ones are the ones with their own little network here. In fact, yeah, I think that's our biggest issue. Is, like, white and purple. How they're getting in the way of one another. Um, Have I got space? Yes, okay, right. We've got space downwards. So, what we'll do here is redesign this. I love redesigning. Like, it's always cool to just rethink and... Just try what you're doing again. So, right. These four houses, they can whiz up there. That's terrific. I also want them to be able to whiz over to here. Okay. Uh, we're going to disconnect that road. And we're going to disconnect this road. Now, this is a little bit of an experiment that could go wrong. Because I'm saying that... the oh, no, Actually, that one's got big demand. So, this could definitely go wrong. 
I don't really want to add in a crossroads between the orange here because the traffic seems to be a lot for it. Also, if I do that, mm -hmm. one extra set of cars that can go to that destination. Oh yes, and I was going to redesign this road, right? So it goes like that instead of up and around. That gives us a little more space here. And unfortunately, we can't have that road go here. Hmm. I think I'm actually just going to leave this one in and see what the game decides to do. Because now we can... Oh, actually, no, we need to suppress. There we go. Uh, speaking of suppression, let's just continue making sure all of these... Yeah. Are like, going to prevent stuff from popping up. I think that's pretty good. So maybe down here. Okay, and we're out of tiles. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. Like, it's an improvement, but... Where can I where can I pinch a road tile or two? It feels like over here, there's probably nothing going to like crop up in that space. Uh, no, wrong way around. Let's make that... Oh, actually, is it? Yeah, look at that. Slightly more leaner there. Because we can. Uh, v Holtz, thank you for two months. Appreciate it. Love seeing me play these puzzle games. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy watching them because, uh, as you probably know, I, I really do like the puzzle games. I was about to say, do you know what? I think there's a way here that we can bring these two houses into the grid. Just sort of realised I hadn't... Hmm, no, no, there isn't. Always that purple traffic there that's going to be an issue. So maybe what we do now... No, not that. Let's drag this so we can just visually see the area a little different. I am going to... You know what? That road was for orange. It's no longer needed. So purple can now use the roundabout like this. Mm-hmm. And I guess if purple's going to use the round... Hmm... They're, they're going to crisscross whatever I try and do here. So do I want them to crisscross through a roundabout? I think I do. I think I want them going through a roundabout. So if it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, I do. It's a little bit experimental. Uh, what's the best way to connect these up? Let's get rid of that road. So you go like that. Okay, and then just leave a little bit of suppression. Right, and then that roundabout, I, I don't know if like having it the smallest it can be is most optimal, but we'll do that. Uh, MBTV, thank you for gifting a sub to Lord All This. Appreciate you supporting our community that way, dude. Always appreciate those gifted subs. Okay, I'm looking up here and thinking you probably need to hook this up, so let's do that now as well. These roads are not necessary and kind of come straight down towards here. So hopefully sending those cars out will make a difference. I don't know which ones they're going to go to, but clearing some things here. Okay, I'm worried about this again. Let's go ahead and add that on there as well. You don't need to hook up all the houses, but sometimes more than less. This one's on its own down here. I've just realized. But luckily there's... Dang. We need some more tiles. There we go. Let's take you off the network. Yeah, so hopefully those two houses will manage that. Um, this is concerning considering all of our orange is pretty much there. There are quite a few other white houses here and there. And, ah, oh, look, we've created a serious traffic problem here, haven't we? Okay, let's try and... Mm -hmm. I've put in all these diagonals, right? And diagonals suppress more than the regular ones, but they also cover more for less. So when I want to make a direct downwards road, it's always a bit trickier. That's probably the way I should have hooked it up. I'm not sure. But yeah, this being so close to the roundabout is a problem. And we need to alleviate some traffic. So dang, what are we on? 1,000? I feel like 
our suppression method here maybe would have been better if I had suppressed better, but it didn't really get us it didn't really get us as far as I would have liked. So we 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 did that, that was fun, but now we'll possibly use it a little bit actually. Oh, I, I wasn't gonna try and restart. Let's go back to the main menu. Uh, so our second lowest score. Oops. Okay, play. Second lowest, I think, was the German one. Munich. Is Munich the capital? Berlin was the capital. Yeah, I was trying to think of the capital. <laughs> but I knew the capital wasn't it. Just another well-known city, I guess, right? Okay, so uh, on to our next level. Uh, I wanted to get the timer up there. So we've got a, a river to cross. And I, I do think I do think I'm gonna use some suppression here, like mainly around these buildings. So like I definitely don't want one to pop up next door to it, right? So if I do that, I don't mind one popping up over there. We wanna keep them at distance from one another is the idea. Moscow is lower, someone says. Is it? I, I wasn't paying the closest of attention. Anyway, we're playing this one now. Thought it was this one. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of not having one pop up anywhere on this island at this point in time. Berlin is the capital. Munich is where the Oktoberfest is. Ah, okay. You can save roads if you don't connect your block roads. I can save them if I don't connect them. Don't know what you mean by block roads. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they don't. They don't all have to connect. I get you. Another thing I could do right here, I reckon, if I filled in all of these tiles, I'm pretty sure we'd suppress any houses from popping up right here again. Like, let's say I really didn't want any to be behind here because it makes it harder to connect them. Do that and they shouldn't pop up. Right, I think it, yeah, it just went this way. So, again, you know, this time we're going to use suppression not maximally like we did last time, but definitely trying to take advantage of it a little bit. Uh, Got to be the bridge, right? It's I can see it like literally zooming out when I hold it. Oh yeah, look. So this all zoomed out. Um, let's hold down. Yeah, there you go. You can see the grid expanded. So I don't. I feel like I don't want one just over here. Kind of want one up in this space, perhaps. Yeah, let's uh, let's now change strategy a little bit. So I'm gonna redraw this road and remove that and see if we can force it to pop itself into that space. Because there's now gonna be. Yep, there you go. We just forced the position of that. Very interesting. Uh, we'll give it. We'll give it a road to that one. Uh, this means that we're gonna have some houses. I'm going to kind of try and get them to all spawn up there, let's say. And we don't want another one of these things popping up. Yeah, okay. If I put that there, I'm pretty sure one won't pop up in that space. One can't fit into there. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe this is a bit excessive. So I think that will stop any other shops. And we definitely don't want one being right next to this thing. So if it plops a few more houses, we don't mind. There you go. And over here. I just I just don't want them getting stuck behind the other ones. That's something that annoyed me when I did this before. You want to have like a, a way to connect them all. Go there. And that is very pleasant so far. 
Josh says you build roads so people can get to destination, but it gets harder. It's a puzzle. Yeah, you you made me think like immediately. I feel like kind of manipulative, which obviously I am by using the suppression method. Next one, we don't suppress at all because I, I am basically playing this now like I did the last one and trying to be a bit more air quotes controlled, but um. It's not obviously that the game isn't playing out the way it exactly wants to. So, yeah, next one definitely going to not abuse this thing as much because you are kind of cheesing the puzzle a little bit. Could also put some suppression over here, I was thinking. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I feel like what we'll do is put it on that side, maybe. Here's the other thing. Um... That might look good, but you don't want all your junctions sort of coerced at the same point. So sometimes by putting them laid out a little different like this, you let traffic flow into the spot it's trying to go to. But really, if that house were just over a bit more, it'd be much better. Not really sure if uh, I'm doing this the right way or not. Uh, I'll tell you what, we could do it like that, and then that one could come up there. Also, um, suppression. Oh, dang it. Right, okay, so that's in an awkward place, isn't it? Very awkward. I think what we'll do... Use our bridges to come around the back. Just like that for now. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, that's really not so bad, actually, is it? As long as we can keep them kind of uh, separate, that's pretty good. Mm hmm. Grid's getting a little bit bigger. That was the spot you should have suppressed, says t -Relief. Yeah, the thing is, though, you do have to expand the city. This is what feels weird about this suppression thing, is that I'm trying to, like, manipulate and control, then you'll make a mistake. Like, when I had this level with 400 tiles, you could literally stop anything from spawning. It was so weird. Um, so I think to have a little bit of an honor rule to play without suppression is possibly a good idea but you always know if you put a road next to another building you can get them to ease off a little bit which is really what you want so once you know it exists it's kind of like hard to leave it alone if that makes sense because I, I really don't want one to pop up right next to this building right so adding those roads there just seems like a good idea now I don't want one to come across too close to here so that now seems like a good idea. Right, now, the demand for the blue ones is noticeably struggling a little bit. Ah, it has expanded too quickly. And, you know, would it have put it in as such an awkward position if it weren't for my suppressing? I will not know. The fact that you know that where you put the roads manipulates where the build buildings appear it even if you're not going to suppress you you know you're influencing the outcome it's really weird <laughs> yeah so i don't want like any houses behind these ones currently i could possibly shift this road to give it more space but we'll see where it puts them as it seems to have designated this the uh, orange neighborhood And yeah, I haven't been keeping up with the suppression, and therefore we got that now. How many road tiles do we have? 21? Like, can I even get all the way across there? Don't have the bridges, so I have to share with this one. Pretty much. For all the chats, uh, peeps in chat saying that Impulse hit a million subscribers, that is of course awesome. We talked about it earlier, I encourage people to go over there and subscribe, but, uh, you know, go go celebrate it with Impulse, he's streaming, right? 
We're uh, we're doing some mini metros over here. Okay, I'm gonna take the bridges for obvious reasons. Mimic 39 thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Vanitas boy here for 10 months. Your YouTube video, and uh, you immediately brought the game. Yeah, it's one of those games, like, the, the sort of puzzle games that I play, and y'all that have been watching me for a while know, um, if, if this is one of those ones I'm not surprised to hear something like that. It's just uh, one of those games for certain types of people. Is it me, or did the zoom out direction just start shifting in different directions? As if it's like looking for somewhere to put something. And it just found it. I wasn't quicker. It's zooming out really fast, isn't it? Okay. I think what we're going to do here is have a bridge. Let's uh, save ourselves a road tile. This bridge will go through the old suppression area. Here's another thing, like, usually I'd run a road like that real close to the next building, but I guess leaving some space now, you know, we know that that helps, so that road is, like, suppressive. Okay, so the places where they might pop up still are just around here, so we'll do that, and then maybe up here there'll be a couple of spots as well. Don't know how much space to leave between them, but that should cover it. Something like that. Uh huh. And then this corner. Got roads down here now as well. And we're out. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to remove some of that. So now I'm running out of tiles to do the suppression with. Oh, the sink's blatantly going to pop up over here in a minute. All there, which is actually not a bad spot considering uh, the layout currently. Peeps, I'm going to switch to standing for a little bit. Ren's Cold Sun, thank you for 19 months. Appreciate it. Golden TNT MSD, 55 months right there. Woo! Um, you've been using your face cam way too often. It just isn't your brand. I have a proposition. A monitor cam. You can compensate for me and Derp Queen for this idea. Are we not using the monitor cam right now? You're not watching my monitor play a computer game. I'm confused. I'm confused. I will pay you in Derp Coin. Because it's worthless. <laughs> uh, Bumble Danny. Thank you for subscribing. And Angry Canine. Thank you for 75 months. Hope you enjoy. I enjoyed my vacation. I really did. I'll, uh, I'll talk about it when we do a hermit craft stream, but yeah, it was, uh, cool. What I didn't realize how much I needed that kind of, you know, it was, it was fantastic. We'll talk all about it. Let's, uh, let's get that one to face up there. So there isn't like three spots all in one junction. Uh, I'm going to go with the bridge again. I'm going to go with the bridge again. And when it comes to suppressing, it's really about suppressing around the shops we already have. We don't want anything super close to this one or this one here. Um, this one might want to be weary of as well. Do we keeping that little space together? Yeah, so I think I'm, I'm going to stop going too overboard with this stuff now. Right, all of our shops seem to be doing good and they've just added that there so now we've got to suppress around this one right remember how I put roads behind the back of that neighborhood that's kind of what I should have done here and I can see where I wouldn't want them on this spot Oh, another white one. We'll take it. And we're out of road tiles. Okay. Um, trying, to, trying to just suss where some suppression is not needed. I think we redesigned this road like that. That's probably adequate. Okay, Bumble Danny, thank you for gifting subs to uh, Uki One and Flying Imposter. Appreciate you doing that. 
always good to see people supporting our community, so uh, thank you for the gifted subs. Right, we're going to get psyched down there at some point, aren't we? Apparently I'm out of road tiles again. <laughs> I was about to say, I've got a feeling we might need a roundabout soon, but uh, we'll take the 30 road tiles because we already got a roundabout. I think it might be good... Yeah, it might be good just to have that there to go to either destination at either side. Maybe stops some of them taking the longer journey. Oh, it just threw me a tough one. It just threw me a tough one. Okay. Okay, so we'd want a big road to come round the back and down here, which looks kind of doable. But then it's probably going to add another colour on the other side. I, I think I think it's kind of obvious the way to play this. Again, keeping a little bit of distance to help um, with the suppression of anything too close to that. And again, we want to kind of keep this coming, I think, a little bit sooner. But maybe not that soon. And then to there, and down... The house is kind of like right in the way. If I point it upwards, it'll probably help with that problem. So, that means these ones can get all the way over there, but boy oh boy. I tell you what, this is where you need a motorway, isn't it? You need a motorway now. That's what we need. Okay, and it's put one over there. So, if this... If this here decides to... Uh, become something different. Sorry, if that stays the same colour there, we'll be alright. Ah, now that's an interesting place for that to turn up. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to uh, disconnect that one from the network and take this one up here. Yeah, this is interesting because it's kind of like direct to this spot. Maybe I can... Uh, we've got three shops that way. So I have to balance the demand between those houses and this one, essentially. Uh, those are orange, which I've just noticed you could add an extra road around here. So if orange ever becomes a problem, I think there's a solution baked in there for that. We're managing it, peeps. We're managing it. How many tiles do I have for suppression? Twelve. Right, so I feel like things are a bit tight here. I don't want something all of a sudden just popping up. Probably don't want something in this space, right? Having something turn up here would be kind of disastrous. Don't want anything extra in the middle of these areas. Right, so then what about... That's a terrible use of tiles. <laughs> um, I guess I don't want anything close up here. Right, so let's break a couple of those. We wouldn't want something like popping up close to that. Uh, and down here, I guess, as well, eventually. So, a few things to keep an eye on as it, it all expands. So, a score of 400, it hasn't really got going yet. The score tends to start slow and continuously increase and increase because the score is like a successful reaching of a destination, right? Let's do that. I wonder if those two alone could supply that. Free. Mmm. Let's disconnect this road and see if they can do it alone. Yeah, motorway. I reckon having one of those in reserve would be good, but we just kind of sussed out we might not need it right now. I'm going to gamble a little bit and uh, use that, as I think the road tiles will help. Like down here, we need to keep suppressing that. Uh, up here. Let's put that there, even though it hasn't expanded yet. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting like a lot of houses here. I think we're going to be okay having those separate. Uh, we've just got a couple more houses up here. How are these ones doing? They seem to be okay. So does that one there, just in case. We'll add that. I think we can remove that now as well. As many as you like over there. They're all in the same spot. Um, these two seem to be fine, so I'm just going to leave those off the grid. Okay, now that's an interesting increase in demand. 
here's what I'm going to do. Um, hmm. I can, I can, I can move this so it goes around the top and bring that one in without having the roads cross. Or we could just have them cross the road and see what happens. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go this way. So now the traffic's gonna go kind of up and over. Leave that one disconnected. Uh, so that road can go. Then here, it's gonna go around that one. Whoops, back down there. Now in terms of suppression, I'm going to leave a little bit of road there, but this one uh, will simply go... I'm going to add a junction there. That's more... Okay, we run out of tiles. Um, that's more like in the middle of the two. Ah, okay, the problem here is that where I'm rearranging so much, there's tiles I've removed that are still in use. So let's go ahead and, like, take a chunk of these little bits of road. Uh, and then that will give me the ability to do that. So now we've got two junctions on this road, but less traffic on both of them. Hopefully that helps. Looks like there might be actually room here. Oh, there was. <laughs> I was going to say, put a road through that spot as well. I think that opportunity has passed. I could always have this one go... Hmm, no. Getting a bit excessive then. Right, I really feel like this blue problem isn't going to go away, is it? So let's change it all again, essentially. Right. This is now... i got a noise in me here. I will read it. Don't worry. Okay, so we're going to go across like that. And then basically somewhere here we need to plan a roundabout. So we bring those three together. They're going to come to that spot. So there's a bit of space between it and the next. So that looks alright, doesn't it? Let's plop that roundabout in. Now, the other thing here is that technically like these roads can go into this area. But they won't do. They'll stay separate. But it's when one of your... One of your networks that crosses over then crosses over with another one. That's when you'll start getting some obscure traffic that you don't want. Okay. Orange is starting to struggle a little bit here as well. And again, if I cross orange over the blue line, then it means the red, the pink stuff could go down into that network. But we'd still be keeping it clean at that point. I think we're going to try it. This is really weird. I'm just, I'm just looking at this road now. I'm thinking it can be rearranged too, possibly. Uh, let's see. Like, if I did away with that junction and hook them up there and put that in, like, something like that. Okay, then... Do I have another roundabout? I do. Oh, this is actually getting a little bit confusing. Um, I'm going to remove that. And actually do what I don't normally do and have it run through the neighborhood, so to speak. Not how I'd normally like, arrange that. Oh, this is this is quickly going to turn into madness. All right, let's point those down like that. So you really don't want all of them coming in and out on the middle of the road. That's not a good idea. But let's extend this a tile. And have our second roundabout there. I think that's the best way I'm going to visualize it. So then we need this connection. Okay, so blue traffic from there can go to this one. Very good. So that can then go there. Now this is where it's going to start to look a little bit much. But I think that's probably the cleanest way to do it. Also, I do need to read some noises in here. I want to 
potentially suppress. Not really. Everything's kind of cleanly suppressed at the moment. Right, okay. Uh, Jormangadar, nine. Thank you for 12 months, my dude. Really appreciate that. That's awesome. Whole year. Minecracker Tyler, thank you for subscribing. We got uh, Befuddled here for two months. Keo Sammy for two as well. And Mandracula is here for donations. Saying, assume it. Isn't it counterproductive when you prevent houses from spawning by placing random streets? I mean, yes. Less houses spawn, but it doesn't mean that your transport less cars as well. Your score gets up slow. Love you, vids. Keep it up. Appreciate it. Um, here's the thing. You don't have to connect all of your houses up to the grid to make it work. It seems a little bit counterintuitive. There is like supply and demand, and the demand at the buildings is probably less than the amount of houses there are. You can put roads down to suppress houses as well as the shops, and if you do that, um, then you can suppress more than the demand needs, right? What I'm trying to do at the moment is kind of manage this network Dang, I, di I did not want that decision in the middle of what I was talking. I'm going to risk it and go with that. Uh, what I'm trying to do is kind of like manage that demand with the flow of the roads here. Right, I think I'm going to do something bonkers if I've got a bridge. I do. It's going to look so cool though. Like if it, if it works or not, it, it doesn't matter because it will just be the coolest thing ever. And you're going to love me for it. Right. Here's the dealio. You're going to you're going to tell me if you like what I'm about to do or not. You haven't even seen it yet, but uh I just think it's going to look so awesome. Hmm, maybe. I think I just put it like off by one. It needs to basically or maybe actually we need to come in from that angle there. I might be overdoing this now. I just love the idea of having all these roundabouts solve the problem. Hmm, no, it is getting a little bit messy. It is getting a little bit messy. We need to think about who's going where. That being on that roundabout makes way more sense. And actually, I think that is what we need. Right, you also, you kind of need distance between your roundabouts as well, don't you? Because they, look, they queue up. Mmm, no, this might have been a bad idea. Okay, I don't like the way we've got, like, traffic demands everywhere and I'm goofing around with using roundabouts. Um, this one here seems to be doing fine. I'm going to add that road there because the ones up top seem to be struggling a little bit. We'll add that one too. So they get two extra cars going through. And, oh, we just had another one added over here. Yikes. Okay, so... How can we make this look cool? I think we can. If I put it right there, it helps with the suppression between the two. Come down here. And you go there. And then we need to use some of these row tiles. To stop anything extra being too close to this. And that should do the trick. Okay. So, the, when these traffic here queue, there's so much space on either side. That's fantastic. A lot of this is just going to go back and forth through the middle, and this is going to come round and then go that way. I feel like I might have done the wrong thing here. This one might serve better going up to... I mean, maybe not even going like onto the roundabout, but onto the road before the roundabout. What if they went up there to get to here? I might divert them better, I'm thinking. Maybe less of them make that awkward turn. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird because they just flow back and forth. Like anything that goes blue to this roundabout will flow back and forth. What's happened there? They got stuck. They got stuck for a moment. Maybe too many junctions together. Let's look that up like that. 
Okay, I really got to keep an eye on other demands as well. So white is good. Uh, down here it's good. This one seems to be doing okay. We'll add that. Then we've got a lot of demand over here. This is where I need a motorway now, maybe. There's like a long journey. And having them whiz over there would be good. So I think I'm going to reroute one over there. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Well, at least I can do that. And need to find a way to hook up all of these, I guess. Yeah, I could... <laughs> so little space to work with here. I can't really finagle that anywhere. So I think for now all I can do is bring two around like that. Hopefully that helps with the extra one over there. Okay. I'm not liking this at all. Not liking it at all. It's... They're all getting slowed down by going through these roundabouts. And there's no other alternatives here. Like, maybe one of the things I could have done was connect all of this to this road. Go across and go up there. There's an idea, but... That's a lot of traffic to throw onto those roads. Also, that one looks like it needs a little bit of extra demand. I'm going to look at chat. Let's see what chat suggests. Unconnected to blue. Yeah, but like... I'm going to end up building a crossroad if I do that. We could experiment with it at least. So the suggestion is to use these two. And I'll bring them in like that. As opposed to use a roundabout or have them navigate some other way around. So look, I mean that's just bringing in more traffic into the roundabouts. That's not the solution. Oh wait, sorry. I said I'd make it a crossroad. Oh, I'm an idiot. That means it needs to go like that. So I did that wrong. Um, now, obviously, our blue problems are creating problems for this other one. Right. Definitely taking the moat away and immediately want to take some the attention off of that. And we'll put this one to here. So it can go into the first shop, completely bypass all of this, which is technically what it's doing. Um, that is a really good point. This road is not necessary. If I disconnect it from the roundabout, that will be a very interesting experiment to run. Oh, God, I should have been using the motorways earlier. Oh, right. Oh, let's survive this because if we do, uh, I think removing that was bad. I think it was very bad. Maybe I should leave it in for a little bit first. Remove it later. Oh, come on. Hang in there. Hang in there. Right. Anything else going wrong anywhere? This is causing a bit of a fuffle here but it's just while they come in from that side so now we're going to get rid of that oh that helps so good so good okay ah oh, no 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 dang um that's a really awkward place for that to be that is very very awkward do we have space downwards we do i might even consider doing this for now. Okay, let's point... I mean, like, how am I going to connect? The only way, really, is for that one to go around all the way there, I believe, because the locking of these buildings... If I disconnect these entirely, I also disconnect them from being available up here, if that makes any sense. So why was I going around this way? It was to stop... The pink house is coming that way, I guess. So that means I want to clear it from that tile. So that's just purples doing purples business. Okay, and then that means all of these ones will come around there. So it's a bit tight. But we'll do it like that. So those houses, let's do that one as well. They're now coming here. Right. Okay, now those roundabouts look a little bit silly, don't they? But when they have low traffic on them, they, they really just let things whiz through. Okay, I just made an achievement, by the way. Munich Commuter. Oh, we hit a thousand. That's cool. Right. Uh, ben Cads, thank you for four months. Zorro, Spinner Manor. 
Thank you for two. And Blue Bottle 77. Thank you for 58. That's incredible. Mr. Jackson says, connect the two pink neighborhoods. It's sometimes a good idea to keep them separate so you control how many cars are going here. At oh, God, it is that is orange. Oh, it is loading it onto us. It is loading it onto us, and we need to get some of these things fixed up. If we look at the route here now, that, that needs to stay. I think this just needs to be one roundabout. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare to, to do, but I'm going to do it. So if we go like that... Cool. There apparently is new orange at the bottom. Oh, thank you for pointing that out, peeps. I see what you're talking about. That is extremely helpful. Okay, so we are trying to bring in... A lot of roads. All into one spot. Maybe too many. Yeah, maybe I didn't think that one through enough first. Um... So we need our blues coming over here. Then I need to be able to get over there. Okay, now I've got to... Oh, yeah, you got to wait. There we go. So that... I'm not sure if that's really much cleaner or not. Time may tell. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> We've got this one over here to deal with. Goodness me. Um, the unfortunate thing is the map hasn't expanded enough. So to begin with, we're going to have some roads crossing. I'm noticing white's demand up the top here is pretty rough. That is that new? Did that just pop up? We've got a pink one there. Oh, it's getting uncontrollable, peeps. See, now we really have to start crossing the road networks, and at some point it's going to bite me in the bum. So, a little bit of traffic coming across that road now from there will happen. Okay, and how can I get some more white onto that road? I don't want to connect it at the bottom here, you see. I can't shimmy out a little extra space there. And that could go in that direction. That's one thing I can change. Let's hope that just can keep pace for the moment. Okay, so we're going to have a proper crossroad here, I think. My goodness me. This is crazy. So that connection isn't needed. And then just here it will come down to this spot. Where we can connect, you know, quite a few if we want to. Right, so they'll go up there and do that. Now, they can also join this network, you see, and therefore access these other orange things. That is what we do not want them doing, going to any of these other orange destinations. They are now part of that road network. I do not like it. I do not like it. We will have to wait before we can take them off of that, unfortunately. Oh, look. Did No, wait. That's a different one. Oh, I needed a motorway. Right, if any of those go up, we're in trouble. Right, like that's when we got problems. Okay, um, can we do with more pink in this area? I'm starting to think that maybe these junctions are like not as helpful as they appear at this point in time. Let's maybe just turn a couple of them around. Hopefully, get a better flow into that spot. Okay, okay, yeah, we are getting traffic everywhere now. Do not want that. Big backup. This is very bad here, isn't it? Let's change that. Change it immediately for all the new cars coming through. Oh, we might be out. Nope, we're still in. Okay, I haven't seen any orange ones go up there. White up here is really struggling. And I think we just got... No, we didn't get a new one. Oh, I don't want to add them. Uh, let's get you off of there. We do not want those row cars coming through that spot. We've got an orange one here connected that really doesn't need to be. It can't connect in any other direction. Um, if purple's struggling here, there's a purple house that could help. 
And that maybe will help as well. Okay. Orange over here is doing alright. The orange cars have started going the other direction. That's really bad. That is really, really bad. We need a motorway or the map needs to expand. Dang! Oh man, okay, I think it's all I think it's all over now. This this roundabout here, the crossing of the roads didn't really work out too well, did it? Hmm. You know what? There's that. Let's just break that off and see what happens. Just a little less traffic coming through. Right, purple really wants some help, so here is more help. I think. <laughs> Honestly, this bit here looks really bad. It's kind of like old. Old design. Let's get a bit more of a crossroads going on there without the... Then we can sort of see what's going on a little better there. Right, let's check up on everything again. Okay, orange is going to be horrible until this map expands. And it'll probably be the end of us now. This is really bad too. <laughs> until we get like a motorway or two, we're, we're kind of in trouble. Dang. Ah, oh, no motorway. Okay, I think, I think we're probably out of this. That being said, do the bridges help anywhere really? Why are... Oh my god, Orange is going through here to use the motorway to get over there. That is how bad it is when you start connecting the networks up. Dang. There's also another purple. You know, um, a bridge might be able to help something, but I don't think it will. Did it expand enough that way yet? No, it didn't. Yeah. That's so bad. Oh. Well, we're learning. We're learning. That was a really good level, actually. Peeps, we've got 1,600 of you tuning in. Be sure to hit the follow button. And if you want more Mini Metro, over on my channel there is a video. Although it's like an introductory one. So if you just want to learn the basics of the game, that might be useful to you. We're obviously playing a lot better, more advanced over here. Picking up some high scores. Uh, Moscow will be next. We'll just take another low level one and beef it up. Um, we got Jack the Squid 42 here with the Prime. Anonymous has gifted a sub to Kazu Void. Thank you for that gifted sub. Appreciate it, my friends. We got GG's in chat. I appreciate your chat. Thank you. You could have gone around the outside of pink. I don't think I could have. Right? It didn't expand in that direction unless there's something. Oh, I think I know what you mean. I could have, like, wiggle wormed under. Oh, man. I didn't think of that. Like a snake road. Oh, dang. I know what you mean. Right, I'm going to nip to the loo. I'll be back in half a minute. So here are my thoughts. I reckon, I reckon mild suppression. Let's try and use the road layout to suppress and not have to put down too many um, roads and let the houses pop up where they are. Let's also take the motorways when they appear. I think they're more useful than I'm giving them credit. The roundabout, you know, if we don't need a lot of bridges, I'll maybe take a couple of those. And, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Can we get a UK map to see if they drive on the left on that map? That would be cool. That would be cool. TNT838, thank you for the prime. Turkey Pillow, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Show over, says Hobo Man. No, not at all. The show must go on. Right. Uh, also, I think I'm going to pause quickly and switch mouse because uh, changing posture seems to be the trick of keeping... Uh, 
There we go, using the other one now. Togoro Joe, thank you for 33 months. 33 times 2 equals 66, only missing a 6 to 666. That is very true. That is very true. Appreciate it. Thank you, my dude. But I mean, what, why the evil number? Gah. Have I been some sort of terrible influence on you? Okay. So, for the starting part, I am definitely doing more of this again. Because I don't want nothing spawning too near. I also I don't then don't want things spawning behind those ones. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I, I did say I played this level without this, and now I'm like, but I can manipulate it. God, it's just gonna happen now whenever I play. It's just gonna happen whenever I play. Uh, Yellow House says you really need to avoid crossroads. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I, I Believe me, I know that. If they're the same network, though, and it's low traffic, you can kind of get away with it a bit. Okay, so having yellow in these spots would be fine at the moment. All right. Oh, there we go. That's, I think that's the first time I've been holding down click to, like, see the... Uh, like the the grid expand before thy eyes, that kind of thing. Okay, right, next road network then. So like I said, we'll lay this out so it can look a little more organic, right? But now this road is deliberately positioned to to like suppress hopefully suppress things nearby. <laughs> or popping up in between. Like we would it would suck if we got something Pop up right there, right? In fact, I think I can... Oh, okay, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I can rebuild the same one, though. Hmm. Uh, we'll take... We'll take the bridge, because there is a river below. Yeah, where are we... Where are we trying to suppress? I think we're good. I think we're good all over at the moment. Nice little network we got here, eh? Who's been watching the Olympics? I've been really enjoying it. That's why I haven't been writing on my music blog. I'm really like, I'm really trying to like take pressure off myself to like always produce, always produce, right? Um, and I'm like, no, nah, I want to chill out and watch the Olympics, and I'm gonna do that. And I've been every morning just been like taking it a bit easier and watching the Olympics and it's been really good fun. So this is where I feel like the game is just going to strangle me <laughs> now. It's like that that doesn't look as fun now, does it? That looks more... So yeah, and now we've got two tangled neighbourhoods. It's going to be a nightmare to manage, I know. Uh, also, it's expanding again. Let's uh, make sure we don't end up with something too close over here, I think. Eventually, we'll do the same in these spots. My suppression game so far has given us a very cramped area to work with. And, I mean, that's brutal, like, these destinations and... Uh, Houses being so close to each other. God. But that's all it's creating for now. I've run out of road tiles again. God. We're about to get some more. Uh, can CK says, what's the difference between bits and subscribes? Bits are like donations. Subscribes are like... Uh, like being a membership on Hermitcraft. Her oh god, on YouTube, I think it's called. How did Hermitcraft pop in there? Look at they. That's so ugly. Like that's literally as annoying of a layout as you could ask for. I'm gonna leave that one out of the network then, so it'll just be that. How annoying can this thing get? Is the name of the game. Now they got they got the equivalent of like subscriptions on YouTube now, right? It's uh, 
called memberships. That's the one, memberships. Right, uh, I was about to do something different here, and then I kind of thought about it and went, yeah, let's try that. Yeah, remember, some of these roads uh, play an important role in keeping things from popping up, and sometimes that doesn't even work, as you just saw. I did not want that so close, but there it is. Hmm, well, I'm going to take that then. Oh, come on! It's because I've got all these long, windy ones. Oh, this is such a bad... Bad start to this level. Okay, that, that actually, there's a point. You know, you don't need them all connected up immediately. Uh, can CK here with some cheers and bits? There you go. You're getting the hang of it. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate that. Helps support the channel, of course. We've got Faith here TV subscribing for two months saying keep up the good stuff. Thanks for your work. Yeah, and the subscriptions are like a monthly thing as well when you get emotes and stuff. Uh, Echelon TTV is here subscribing. Appreciate it. Thank you for your subscription. Now, if I wanted to add this to that network, like it would have to go through this area. So what I want to do is kind of reserve that. I've run out of rotars. Yes, I have. All my roads are long and windy. They're long and windy, peeps. So I kind of I want to have that one come around and connect, essentially. Friday. We've got, still got to wait a while for more tiles. I also wanted to, at some point... Yeah, I can't, because I've got no tiles. I literally just said that. You can shrink a bend on the upper blue right to gain a road. Yes, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. Shrink a bend. I like that term. I could also just remove this temporary. Then again, don't want anything too close to that, do we? Shrink a bend. Shrink a bend. God, that sounds so weird. Definitely taking more road tiles on this one. There we go. Shrinking a, I am shrinking a bend. Did I do it right? Now, I know this uh, This here like might seem a bit excessive. I don't think we need to connect this, but I just like the idea of making sure that neighborhood can access uh, all of this over here. In fact, I'm going to disconnect it for now as well. Oh. Oh, you did me like that, did you? Well. Well. Shrink in a bend. I mean, that is literally the fate of that one, I guess. Because of this horrible layout that it's thrown our way. What are you putting over here, eh? You causing me some trouble? Let's make sure uh, there's still some suppression here. Oh, God, I'm running out of everything, aren't I? Bit of suppression here. Bit of suppression. Oops. Oops. It needs to get back. I guess uh, nothing's going to pop in that space, is it? Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, I see what this game is doing to me. Everything is like really awkwardly placed. Um, I have noticed though that we could have this go through here instead. Let's get rid of all of that. God. Just give me one more! Thanks, I think. That's the right network, isn't it? Can I have another one, please? Guess I can take a little bit from there, can't I? Dang, man, this level, this the layout of this level's just been rough. What can I say? X singing is the best, says Shinny. I'm glad you think so, because I keep busting out into song all the time. That, I was just checking. That one is in the right spot. Well, it starts slow and it speeds up, and I have no roads left for more suppression, and it's going to get horrible from here. What did I say last time? I said I'll take the motorways early. And, uh... My gut reaction was like, oh, maybe not. But then, if you think about it, it might help with situations like this. So, hmm, excuse me. I feel like we don't really need to use it just yet. But, oh, hello. I don't have more bridges. Well, I guess then what I'll do is that. All right. See you later. <laughs> 
I guess there's a solution. It wasn't the one I was thinking of, but okay. I think that'll look nicer. Oh, God, you're adding another one already. And, oh. Oh, dear. Right, so we don't want any more houses where we can't hook them up. I'll have one there, though. Get rid of that. Um, right, suppression not really required, but maybe there in the future. Down here. Maybe there in the future. Over here. And I don't want anything really over here because it's so away from everything else. Oh, I'm out, and I'm out. That's it. That's all the suppressing I'll do today. Kind of want to leave some remnants of these bits as well. Oh, look, it added a green one over here, I just noticed. Oh, and then it added that. Oof. Right, so we might need to redesign this neighbourhood big time with another bridge. Oh, yeah, and then I'm out of road tiles. Okay, okay. I mean, those houses there are kind of doing the trick. Ah, oh, then you've added that. Mm, I guess, actually, it's not too bad, because I can... Oh, God, I have, haven't I? Okay, give me that one, and then that one will go there. Right. Drag that to there. Spin you across. In fact, if I do that, I can save that and take that one back. There you go. Interesting, isn't it? I want a motorway! I'm going to take the bridges. It's all about the bridges. Green under motorway, someone says. Yeah, I know. It's going to stay off grid. They're living off the grid. And they're breaking the law. They're a rebel. Right. Do that. Uh, over here, actually, definitely do not want something popping up directly next to this. Yeah, I think if we have time for one more today, it will definitely be a like a, a zero suppression tactic level, which is going to be really tricky because I know how helpful it can be now. <laughs> then again, it seems to put everything in an awkward space over here. Right, we'll leave that house alone. Is that that kind of reminds me? Yep. Little suppression checks around here as well. There you go. This is what the high score levels look like, peeps. There's just random stuff. Hey, that one can join this network, but it's like not really necessary. However, it becomes necessary. I would have wished that I'd have connected that road. So there it is. Uh, this this again is going to be interesting. Currently, nothing can pop up in its way. I think so. If we do connect those, that space is kind of ready for that. And everything's kind of good. Everything is kind of good right now, isn't it? I think we definitely want another motorway. Right, demand just increased there. And... Ah! Oh, it's the other side of the map! Dear Lord. Right, we're about to... Sun, let's let Sunday pass at least. Come on. I'm in peeps. Is this game trying to kill me? Right, here's what we're going to do. I, you know, I wanted that for something else in the future, but I think what we'll do is drag you over there to the bottom side, yeah. And that'll do, that'll do. Cool, I'll tell you what, like, until I, when I first played this game, I did not play like this. In fact, it wasn't until I made my video and I had time after playing on holiday to then think about the game more. But like loads of stuff sort of dawned on me. Um, and this idea of keeping things separate has really, really helped. Like I used to connect everything together and it was just like so different to look at. Maybe that's how I play like the last level just so you can kind of see uh, how I was playing it. Because this is like obviously a bit more strategic if you like. Alright, am I going to be able... I don't think I even need to hook these blue ones up, fortunately. It's also interesting how many houses it will choose to give you, if it will match the demand or not, right? Like over here, the, these two are going to struggle at some point. I don't know when. Right, I'm just thinking about suppression again. Like, if I just add a few tiles here and there, 
and we don't get anything pop up in that space, that'll be good. Kind of don't want anything popping up like too close to all of this mess. Just do that for now. Ah, that's interesting. I do have. A, I, I. I think we're going to need more bridges, so I would like the thirty road tiles. But uh, we do have a lot laid down that probably don't need to be there anymore. I'm not sure if that's really doing it. Oh, that's a good point. We're going to need to suppress over there eventually. Yeah, we might want to move the moat away. So having more bridges could be very useful. But right now, it's kind of like just sit back and relax, really. It's been well managed. Okay, so it gave us an extra purple. I don't even need to hook it up. And that can just get hooked up there. Um, and speaking of which, we don't have much suppression next to this thing, but it doesn't need all of that. Wouldn't want something popping up there, I just realised. Not sure how tight of a gap it will try and squeeze things into. HRPR, hey, thank you for the prime, my dude. Appreciate it. Hope you're uh, enjoying the stream and having a good time. Look at all these blue ones. Like, Oh, look, we could, uh, we could reserve ourselves a little blue demand if ever it were needed right those houses do not need to be hooked up right now but that's okay and also if I reconfigured some of this stuff right I could connect those blue ones up to this network so I think what I'm gonna do is add a sort of yeah I'll connect it even though it's entirely useless so if ever I want to move those blue ones down here for whatever reason oh Jeez, look at the demand. <laughs> it's literally what I need to do. Yeah, no, they don't have enough they don't have enough going to them. Okay, so that means the white ones do have to travel like a fair bit further. So optimizing this heavily. This is where we need that motorway. By like optimizing that and then that is kind of important. Right. That was uh, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> I look over here and I'm like, oh no, we need to get those blue ones over. Let's now move that to here. And oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Kinda don't kinda don't want like too many of them too close to the junction though. We want them sort of flowing on nice and easy. Now that should give us what we need over there. Okay, it's adding green ones, which I don't want. It's adding more green here. I'm thinking, ooh, we'll take the road tiles. Right, green is fine. Could be a problem. Could quite easily now, with this motorway for blue, bring more green in there. So that's not a problem. What I'm going to do now is uh, have... Yeah, let's, let's bring this network in now. Eh. Whatever looks good. Right. That's important. Now we really got to suss this blue thing out. I think it might be smarter to have the junction down here. I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. Right, now they... Oh, yeah, that's the thing. When you move a moat away, like, they can't all use it straight away. Okay, that... Like, these connections are not good, the way they're set up. We need to get those to their destinations. Right. It's kind of all about blue. Um, right, purple just gave us a headache. Uh, the uh, bridge needs to be the other side, doesn't it? Okay. Still got loads of road tiles, actually. That should probably take care of that. This blue thing is... <sighs> Really not sure how to change these junctions to make them run a little smoother. There is a lot of traffic coming across there. Let's add that one now. That uh, see, look at the way it slows down the other traffic. That's what I'm concerned about in those situations. Yeah, that's pretty much the best I can do for blue. So now I'm looking at white and thinking, uh oh, basically, uh, is it me? I really need another motorway. I could add this up here if need be it's 
So another four. The only problem here is that they're going a ridiculously long way. I've just noticed something really cool. I have just noticed something really cool. That might be immensely helpful. We've got like a ring road. Also, that one house has handled the demand there the entire time. That's cool. Ugh. I'll take the road tiles. I haven't used that other roundabout. Let's check up on everything. Green is good. Purple is good. Blue is... Ugh. That's what blue is. I could maybe get an extra one extra... Mm, do I want to do that? I could like feed that one through to there, right on the junction, which isn't good. Mm. Let's take uh, some of these houses that don't need to be part of that network out. This blue one here doesn't need anything extra. In fact, it doesn't even need that, I think. It's probably good with just three. And the two over here. That's a point. Like, it's a bit of a ways for those to go. Maybe it makes more sense to just have them come from up there. I think we'll do that now. That also means I don't need this, right? If I'm not using those. And then we had this awkward setup just for white. So white could really do with just coming across there, I think. Couldn't it? And then that one goes there. And then you get rid of all of that. That looks like a better setup. Okay, we're optimizing. We're optimizing. <laughs> Hopefully I don't make a mistake I don't realize I'm doing. It's blue that's really concerning me over here. Did we get any... All right, we've got like one blue there. Right, if I'm not mistaken. What way are you facing? I can't click on it. Or is that actually a green? Is that a green or a blue? It's a green. It kind of almost looked like a blue. Hmm. The other option is maybe to build a road across this spot, but then I guess we're using orange there now. So, it's all... Oh, hang on. This means we can indeed get extra houses across to there. Hmm. Oh, and out they go. Okay, we might have just made a really good decision. That will go there. And I think I'm going to connect these two neighborhoods. Not sure what the best way to do that is, though. Maybe just like that. Maybe not even efficiently. Like, if. Mm, no, I'm going to keep them separate. I'm going to keep them separate. And. That just popped up. That can go there. Alright, Blue, we just gave you a load more. Come on, we optimised. It must be good. It must be good. We're on top of white. We need to get a couple more houses over to Blue. Oh, it just added one. Kind of like right where you don't really want it. Again, talking about those junctions, that is just going to create queues here. So we've got like a bandwidth problem. Hmm. How many road tiles do I have? If I could build purple, like, a road across the bridges. Oh, look at this. Green is struggling now. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, dang. The one place I don't want to add additional traffic is kind of right, like, where blue is, but... I guess what I could do is say, on a temporary, hopefully fixable basis, we like that is the worst way to do a road, but we don't want it right next to that junction, and there is more demand going down here. I'm wondering if like readjusting this layout like slightly might help as well, because the junction kind of looks a little awkward. I'm just gonna add that bit of road and see if it helps. Yes, thank you. Okay, right, so we've got another motorway. Purple's struggling over here, and I, I'm going to guess it's kind of like blue. It's like there's just so much stuff being funneled into, like, one junction. So that motorway needs redesigning, but it will cost us time. I'm actually going to use this other motorway on blue. So if we do that, um, then these can go to different... They can go through two spots, right? And, yeah, we might be able to finagle that a bit more later on. 
Okay. Oh, it just added that there. Come on. I'm starting to manage... I'm starting to manage some of this other stuff. What I could do... I think I can put these two on that network and they'll just go... Yeah, let's do that. Like, I think those two might be able to just... Enough to supply that. And then possibly finagle another one onto the network over here. So we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, we're keeping an eye on many things. Many, many things. Like, why are... Why is that all wiggled around the long way there? That makes no sense. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't think the map's going to expand any further, by the way. I think that's kind of it. Right, now we've gotten a little bit extra over to green here. But it doesn't seem to be enough. Blue is now sorted out. And this one over here has not got enough. So that needs to join the network. To And thank you, one extra there as well. That's good. So how can I get a road all the way across to purple? I can't. It's kind of blocked everywhere. Although technically there might be a little bit of space there. How many bridges do I have? None. So... I'm kind of winging it a bit now. We just... Maybe just got to look for little extra bits and bobs. Like, what if I added a couple more of those houses there? So this blue is completely fine with what's going on there. Green is probably our biggest worry. Right, now there's not a lot of blue cars using this motorway here now. So when they... If I were to move this one, they would stop... They would use the other one on a temporary basis. So if I change that to there, which might seem terrible right now... The moment it switches over, we can change this road. And just have one for one and one for the other. Oh, thank you. Okay, we needed that. Um, but where do I use it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think I think white needs a helping hand soon. Okay, there we go. Right, so let's get rid of the bridge. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, I kind of feel... Oh, dear. I kind of feel like maybe actually... That was the better side to keep for traffic flow. So it's like a T-junction. Okay. This is going to come out. Uh, so is that, that, all of that, and that. Now, we have... Hmm. Now we have all of that. Which is not a lot extra. I think it's one house extra. But if these ones here... Hmm, there's not quite enough of a way to fix this. Unless I ditch using this road with the white, and we use the motorway smartly. So the biggest, I think the biggest route is probably there to there for white. So it makes sense to use the motorway across there. But I reckon maybe we could actually, let's ditch what we were doing there. Hang on, let's, let's put it in like that. Let's add that one there. Also, I just kind of realized that if this is the max the map is going to... Oh, no, is it expanding to the right here? Hmm. We could, we could leave some suppression to stop it giving us more problems, basically, is what I'm thinking. I'm going to do that because I, I think it's not going to put in anything other than houses if we block off enough spaces. Right. Ugh, chaotic thoughts all over the place, trying to focus. Some are saying remove motorway one. Oh, no, 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 we need motorway one. That being said, if I take out this white road, like, blue might be able to hook up there as well. That could be very interesting. So, we added a couple of extra buildings here to go to that one. This is a short distance to that. This is not as necessary. Ah, uh, but you got that one there. Hmm... It's like we can't quite get enough space. That being said, maybe... Mm. Interesting. So if we do that, we technically don't need this road on this side, but now it's like quite a big ask for that traffic to do these two. I think it might be worth disconnecting this road. 
that I'm going to do it. Because if those can supply those two, that's good. So then that means we take this road out. And there are now two extra greenhouses that we still can't hook up. I have missed something here. There is still... Because of, the en cause of the where the entrance is, you can't quite... <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to do this. That's probably the worst way to do it, though. Although I really don't see any other option. Maybe it's better to do it, like, all at one place, like that. Or I could then have a crossroad like that. And remove... No, no, that, that needs to stay. Let's see what happens there, eh? Let's see what happens with a lot of these changes that I'm making. Oh, it added an extra white one up here. That's kind of super duper helpful right now. Okay, I'm just... My eyes are like literally just scanning one by one all the things. So this here is horrendous, no doubt. What if we were to maybe try and alleviate that... Uh, and go just just creating junction hell basically but uh, let's try and turn these away from yeah like that that's ugh. still a bit icky but might smooth some of the traffic there I don't think it does it kind of passes off the problem a little bit okay oh we got another blue one we'll take it Right, people are saying white on the bottom left. Oh, thanks for pointing it out. We can actually fix that one. Oh, did it just get added recently? Because, like... Oh, please, please make it. Please make it. Come on, I didn't even notice. I looked at my chat. Chat saved me here. Yes, chat. Well done. Well done. Okay. Now we got this one over here on the right. Look at this purple network. This is bonkers. This is bonkers. Okay, I feel like this could be rearranged here and be made way nicer, right? So if I flip out all of those connections so that we can have something smoother coming in, we just need a better flow of traffic coming in. So that will have those houses nicely flowing in and then hopefully like the traffic is sort of coming from a little further back. Uh, there isn't really like another way in other than that. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'm going to... God, these, these houses are way too compact. Let's try that. See how that handles it. Those are some big changes right there. Okay, uh, that one's struggling a little bit again. Just in case you want the one extra, we'll do that. Okay, good here and there. These two are somehow good still. This one here is slightly struggling. It's a basically a long journey. There's probably some junctionage here that's going to slow it down. So we'll do that. We'll make it just a little less messy. Uh, also, that one goes there. So I think I'm just going to hook that up, basically. How's green doing? Green's okay. This one over here is struggling. You know what I'm thinking? We've made a bit of a mess here. There was a smarter way to do this. And I've not... Ex oh, we need one more bridge. Come on. Come on. Right. Uh, I think... Oh, this is going to be such a gamble now. I've just seen a way smarter way to do it. We need to get rid of a bridge. And I can't really take anything out on a temporary basis. But we just created a huge mess. It didn't have to be that way. What if that helps? That might be the worst thing ever. I don't know. Come on, come on. That thing is going away, right? It's going away. Right, and I think now what we'll do is get rid of the bridge. Mm, all the cars have got to come back out as well. This is scary. Oh! Oh, but I need a motorway soon! Oh, I don't know which one to pick! Oh, someone says I've still got a motorway. Oh, God, thank you. We'll take the bridge then, because if we do that... We should have sent, always sent it up to that junction, right? There you go. Okay, right. Now, let's hope that that solves itself. Where else do we need 
a motorway. I can't help but feel purple. Purple just seems to be so demanding over here. It's crazy. Um, maybe we just hold on to it for a second. We've also got like a cluster of white houses here now. Not sure if they're going to be useful for much. Since this is mostly just the same sort of traffic, let's add that. Give it some nicely uh, designed directions to travel in. Okay, how's demand fluctuating down here? It really is purple that needs sorting out. What do you think, peeps? Like, another connection to purple down here? This thing is just monstrous with traffic. I'm not sure we really helped too much here. Let's turn that one out. And then maybe that one in that direction. Trying to make it a little bit better. Hmm. Okay, this one over here is going to suffer soon. Roundabout by the second motorway. Yeah, um... That might help. Have we got space over that side? We might... Hmm. Thing is, though, you can't put a... a like, you can't put... Okay, let's think. Oh, there's... I, I tell you what, there probably isn't enough space. You can't put the motorway... Roundabout can't be placed here. Yeah, it, there's unfortunately not enough space there to put it in, but you can't put the motorway directly into the roundabout. Right, these crossroads over here, by the way, they didn't really cause much of a problem, did they? I was supposed to monitor where, like, the traffic might be. In fact, that kind of looks like it should be a roundabout to me, but I'm going to leave it alone since it's working. Okay. Hit 2,000. Yep, yep, 2,000's been hit. Hmm. This, this bit over here is concerning. So, I think actually, I think I now know where the next motorway should go. But I'm going to experiment with putting it not directly next to the entrance. I think that's where it should go. Like, free up a little bit more room over here. It might also be a case of just not enough houses, but with less traffic there, that should keep that under. Cool, we could really do with, like an extra orange house just up the top there. In fact, this has kind of changed a little bit. We can make it a little bit tighter. Uh, we'll take the motor away. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. We are doing this. Green is starting to suffer again. Now, I could, could, air quotes, bring some of these greenhouses in. But once again, that's going to be a lot of traffic networks crossed. Like, blue can then enter in this region where there is no other blue. So as long as I don't cross it again, um, I think we're going to have to do that. So let's have the turning there for those three to come down and then join that junction. Mm-hmm. So these houses should keep up with that, no problem. And now a little extra green is going to come through here. And that could just unstick us a little bit. I think what I want to do is get more traffic coming from this way, less from here. So we're going to turn out two houses from that side. It could be that we end up not needing those ones and rely on this entirely. You never know. But actually, that sounds kind of like really doable now that I think about it. Like, if we put that there, cut out that. Yeah, let's try and do it without these ones. So if we turn, cut those off. Wait, what am I looking at here? Okay, so... If everything's coming from this direction. That's all we need. If everything comes from down there. Then this green bit here could probably do it being a bit shorter. Okay. It looks like chat's going wild out the corner of my eye. I'm not sure. So I'll check on that in a second. That, to me, 
looks good. My only concern is maybe the blue like crosses over a very important point here. Okay, uh, purple again is a notorious problem. Look at the demand. It's just insane. And we've got like a tiny little bit of extra space here to work with and possibly make some sort of improvement. Like what if we changed it so it was like that? Would that smooth anything? Ooh, did I just cause a problem there? We've got another motorway. I'm gonna I'm gonna take another bunch from there to there. Okay, and I picked this because there's just a crazy amount of houses that could connect to that. Um, that being said, let's try and get that flow nice and smooth though. All right, there you go. Okay, uh, what other problems do we have here? We got a blue house that I don't think is supposed to be connected anywhere near there. Okay, all the again blue should go in that direction. All the white ones are connected. Another blue one. So if any of these blue ones here need it they got it okay this is a lot of traffic getting slowed down here therefore we're gonna make some of it go around the long way which might not be the best solution I'll tell you what I'm gonna do hang on let's let's rethink that I am going to so now there's like two distinct ways and they're connected together Hopefully we can get like an even split of traffic now. <sighs> Dang, we are managing the heck out of this. Right, uh, connect more purple houses, two more blue houses connect to each other, Lameo. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that being said, a little bit of demand has just increased over here. That might be related to the green roads. It's a shame there's no other way to wing, wing it around there. But anyway, an extra blue will go through there. We'll take the motorway away for sure. In fact, if you look at how many road tiles i got, it kind of makes sense to just stick with that now, right? I don't think there's going to be any other buildings popping up. This purple patch is just bonkers. But, if we look at what's going on here... Oh, wait, this one's struggling now. Hmm... <laughs> I think we might be reaching sort of, oh wait 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 I've got another motorway. Uh I think I think we might use this on blue. So we just look at where the houses are. I think I might take it from that top space up here and drag it down to there. And there might be a way better way to lay that out. I'm not sure. I think when you hit six, or is it nine motorways, you can't add any more. That is an interesting spot for one of those to pop up. Because we can immediately give it a whole bunch of cars, right? Blue is struggling. Everything's struggling, really. Hey, look, there's a bunch more of these white ones here. So I'm just going to add an extra one there. Okay, what can we do about this blue stuff? This this orange one here is really pushing it on those houses. I can't really do too much more about that. Actually, I can make the journey shorter for that one. Cool. It's just fingers crossed with the blue stuff now. I think, yeah. Ah, there you go. That was that was awesome. Wow, 2883. That's the highest score, right, right there that I've ever got. That's cool. I think what I need to learn to do is manage the traffic when you get that sort of just absolute stampede of traffic like we had with purple and blue to destinations like that we need to know how to get the traffic off of the motorway flowing out like flowing in and out of the the traffic flow is really important when you've got all those big junctions where all the cars are coming out of the houses that's just tricky right there that was exciting fun says becca it really was actually this game is super awesome Let's go to the main menu. I kind of want to like go back and look at that level, how it finished again. I guess I'm recording the video so I can always uh, pull that up and have a look. Uh, Melonfish, thank you for six months support. Remico, thank you for 27. Asta Car Park, thank you for five. Appreciate it. The Warfish Gaming is here for 27. I was really zoned in for the last 20 minutes, wasn't I? Uh, MTIS, thank you for two months as well. 
Have you tried Mini Metro? Yes, many years ago. Let's check out the rankings. Okay, so that puts me in at like 1,000. Now, what would be the top? Okay, I don't know what that is. Is that the top? Yeah, so I reckon... I reckon like some of these ones are probably using suppression and very clever manipulation of the level to get that high of a score. I'm not saying they're cheating. They're doing what we're doing. They've just got a really good understanding of it. Because I reckon if you've got a score like that, you've probably been able to perfectly manipulate the entire map and all of its traffic. Then again, the demands might just continue increasing. I don't know. So anyway, very curious how those kind of scores are reached. People hack the game more, so says Dan Dingo. Yeah, if someone submitted a hacked score, that's going to lame. Uh, can, CK, thank you ever so much. Appreciate it. Although, I wouldn't suggest just, you know, because they've got a high score, that that's true. However, if they've got a high score on, like, on every level, it's like, what? I mean, 420, 420, that, that to me just looks like someone having a laugh. Okay, there again, definitely a, probably a fake score. Yeah. It does look suspicious. When you get like such a cheesy number up there. Yeah, this Mark Anthony guy's got it everywhere. Yeah, they they look crazy. Then again, it's the first level, which is like super uh, easy, it seems. So maybe you can push some strategies and tricks really far on it. Yeah, I love this game. I feel like I've really kind of like elevated uh, playing on camera today. We'll do another one of these in the future for sure. If uh, I have time sooner than later, it'll probably be Saturday. If not, it'll probably be Tuesday. So uh, check out the schedule. Keep an eye on that. It'll probably be Tuesday for me. We'll do some mini motorways. I'll keep that in the back of my mind. I'll update it soon. I'll let you know on Twitter and all that stuff. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit the follow button. That is the end of the stream. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. Resubscribed, donated, and cheered. Your support is always appreciated. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to go raid Cup Fan, who's doing some base building on Hermitcraft. Doesn't that sound awesome? I really like what Cub's doing. He's using dripstone everywhere. So if you haven't seen what Cub's up to, you should stick around. Uh, thank you to all of my patrons, and thank you for all the gifted subs. I will see you all soon. Hit the follow button, hit the raid button, and take care. Bye bye.